John King, USA, CNN, weeknights, 7 Eastern. Ernie, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission says the situation at Fort Calhoun is under control, that this will not be a repeat of what we saw in Japan. In your view, case closed? Well, you know, sandbags and nuclear power shouldn't be put in the same sentence. Um, <laughs> But it is a lot better than, than Fukushima. The real reason why is that they were shut down in April and their management decided not to start them back up. Now, nuclear atoms split and these split pieces give off a lot of heat. But after two months, there's not anywhere near as much heat. So to compare it to Fukushima is, uh, is wrong. Uh, it's still a real problem, but it's not a Fukushima level problem at all. Uh we're looking at pictures right now. I don't know if you can see them, but uh, when you take a look, are you already concerned about the emergency pumps possibly flooding? I mean, they are covered in water. What happens after that? Well, I think the, the focus has been on those two big buildings, the auxiliary building and the containment. Really, it, it's not those buildings I'm concerned about. There's a little building out by the water, and it's called the intake structure. And in there is the emergency service water pump. That's the pump that cools the nuclear fuel. So it's important that that building not flood anymore, because if the emergency service pumps get flooded, they won't be able to cool that nuclear reactor. Okay, now Fort Calhoun, as you point out, it's been shut down since April. But then there's Cooper Nuclear Plant, which is about 90 miles south of Fort Calhoun. It, it's a different story. So why are you more concerned about Cooper? Well, Cooper's still running. And again, those pieces, um, if Cooper were to shut down now, the, the heat produced would be, oh, 100 times more than the heat at Fort Calhoun. A lot more heat to get rid of. Now. The, um, and it's also the identical reactor to Fukushima. It's a boiling water reactor just like it. Um, if I were the uh, management of Cooper, I'd really think about shutting it down so that you get ahead of the problem, so that there's less of those decayed um, products to generate heat. Do you have any immediate concern for the people who are living nearby? You know... Short of an upstream dam failure, I think they'll ride this one out. Um, if an upstream dam were to fail, though, all bets are off. So um, I think the key is to keep an eye on the, the upstream dams. Now, if you were consulting the team at Fort Calhoun and Cooper right now, what advice would you give them? Well, Fort Calhoun, um, you know, they got taken to the woodshed about 18 months ago and have made a lot of uh, modifications since. Now, why the NRC waited 30 years to do that is a question, but right now, with the modifications they've made and being shut down for two months, um, I, I don't really think they can do much more except wait and hope that the water doesn't get high. Um, down, at, uh, down at Cooper, though, my advice would be to shut down now and ride it out. All right, Arnie Gunderson, thank you so much. Uh, let's hope all goes well there and continues um, as it has.